Hello guys, welcome to Afronix. Today we are going to look at image conversion in MATLAB guide, which basically means we upload an image that will be in any of the format, either PNG, JPG, TIF, GIF, and then convert it to the format of our wish using MATLAB. So the version of MATLAB that I'm using today is 2018A, alright? So we start off straight by hitting into the command window and type guide, enter. So this window will pop up. We are going for a blank GUI, just click OK. Another window like this will pop up. Let us maximize, good, and expand this work area so far so good these are the components we will be looking at today but wait a minute our last video was on how to select an image or upload an image from your computer into matlab if you missed that interesting video check in the description below you find a link to it or you click at the right corner here it will navigate you to the video and it will show you step by step how to do that so today we are going to build this image conversion based on that video because we've already set up a platform so just go to open file so i'm going to this one display image that was the name of our last project click on it boom this was the interface all right afronix image processing and then we just have to run when we run we can select an image and the image will display in matlab but today we want to add another feature which means we have to convert this image to the format of our choice maybe select the image take it and convert it all right so if we push this a little bit to here we need push buttons this one will select the image means load the image from the computer and then we have to save the image in the format of our choice so let me hit on to this push button make one push button here and then go again make another push button here good this push button will load the image and this one could be png and jpg you can add more features based on your desire okay so we've edited this these ones are already edited so let us edit this push button then we go to string from string the name that will be on the push button we put it here say save in png okay like here the tag is when it's time for programming we will be able to identify which push button we are working with then let us change the color of the text go to this foreground color let us still give it pink like the other enter and let us change the font to 30 font size good then close this one look at it nice save in png let us do the same thing for this one nice all right so now let us adjust this area good so now it's time for us to see how it looks like if we click on this run button say yes this is how it looks like all right then we can load our image save it in png or save it in jpg format now let us go into the code all right so here is our callback generated code let us expand this a bit okay our previous video we dealt with this call this select image which was the button to select image from the computer into matlab so today we are going to program this to push button that we just um, added into the platform 
which would be save in png and save in jpg format okay let us um start straight away by declaring our variable and uh, let us say global i am one you may be wondering what is i am one i am one is this image it is the image that we'll be selecting from our computer and then convert it and then save it to the format we want okay so put uh then we need to specify our format that this im1 could be in any format so let us specify that f o l so this format could be png jpg we have tif gif or all files okay so put our star png format jpg format tif gif and this is this symbol stand for all format okay so let me clear this one okay the next let me clear expand this area now it's time for us to save um this particular picture that we've selected in any of this format so we want matlab to give us a choice a choice of selecting a folder in our computer that we want to save this particular image in okay so that could be done by using this put say file to path so we want to be equals to we say put file and mind you this function will allow us to save our file okay and this is the format we are going to save it as we are going to use the filter and then the title and this title will mean it will be like save as okay what is our filter we we'll say format instead format the ones that we've declared at the top and then it's by then we give that title could be let us say save press enter now it's time for us now to save and in saving it let's say save will be equals to the file that has been named here because when it says save as we type we input a the name of the file how we want the file to be saved as right so that then will be equals to this one this word called save okay then we use this m right then this will write the data of the image i am one into that particular selected folder okay and then this is the format we are going to use we are going to use the file that we want to save the name how it's going to be saved and also the value that is the format on how it will be like so what will be the file the file is im1 we want to save the one we've selected at the top all right so how what will be the name of this file it will be called save any name that we've input here will be the name equals to save right save and then what will be the format because of this format we say save in png so we'll put png close all right good now from here we want a message to display that when we save this particular image there should be a displayed image message and that message will tell us that oh i've successfully saved this image all right so we go to this one click uh, copy from here to here to end copy let us come here say paste good so here instead of no file we just say file good and this let us clear off this message now here we have to type the message and the title of that message so we say the message would be 
save and what will be the title of it we say done good so this will return and then it has well been explained from the top okay now let us run this code and see what it has for us okay so run boom yeah now we have to select an image let's load select an image okay let's select this boom here is the image now we want to save it in png format if you click on save in png which folder you want to save it under download i have a folder there okay converted image now save as let us say um we want it to save as converted okay so you see it will be in this format dot png format if you say save boom here it is done save in png format right good all right that's great now let me go to the folder and see here it is converted and as we can see it is in png format that's great right good now let us come back let us close this now we want to make it the same thing for this one called save in jpg format right all right so all we have to do from here to here we copy this part come right down let me expand the area so that you can see okay so paste it here good but we have to change few things and the few things could be here to save in so we just say jpg okay good and then this time around is going to be saved as jpg good so we've made for this saving jpg format so let us click on run good let us load our image again and mind you you see this image is in png format right is in png format so if we click open and we want to save it in jpg format click on it as we can see it will be saving in dot jpg format so let us say africa click save boom it says saved in jpg format okay guys so this is how you go about in doing image conversion in matlab using gui so far i want to say thank you for watching this video